Welcome to the Lady Game, where our bachelorette will choose which man is her energy star. Now, ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome our bachelorette, Gail Frost, from Thetford, Vermont. Welcome, Gail. Gail, what are you looking for in a man? Well, <clears throat> my home is very drafty, and my bedroom is empty and cold. I'm looking for the right man to keep me hot in the winter and cool me down in the summer. <laughs> well, all right. Well, let's meet the contestants today. Bachelor number one, would you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, I'm uh, glad to be here. I'm Lunk Hadley, jack of all trades and some might, some might say master of none, but I am good at insulation. All right, bachelor number two. Hi, I'm Professor Warmerhausen. I have a bachelor's <laughs> degree in building science from MIT, and I am a home performance contractor. <laughs> All, right, uh, All right, Gail, take it away. Ask the first question. <clears throat> bachelor number one, what's the first thing you would do to keep me warm? Well, first of all, old lump, that's me. Old lump generates plenty of heat for both of us. The first thing I'd do, I'd change out all your windows. I, I saw that on TV yesterday. Bachelor number two. Well, actually, I think I would uh, consult with a certified home performance contractor first to find out where the problems really exist. There are many more cost-effective ways to deal with drafts than uh, replacing windows. And there are, of course, many ways of weatherizing your existing windows. Well, that, that makes sense. Gail, what's your next question? I think I'm losing heat to my attic because I am getting these massive ice dams from the snow melt. What should I do, bachelor number one? That's easy. I'd get up on that roof and I'd beat the heck out of that. <laughs> I'd beat the heck out of that ice with a pickaxe. Then, then I'd fill your attic with fiberglass. And bachelor number two. <laughs> yes, well, if you have uh, ice dams, then there's no doubt that you have warm air leaking into your attic through the ceiling of your upper floor. So, the way to solve the problem is to seal off the air leaks first before you put in insulation. And, by the way, cellulose is generally a better choice than fiberglass. I did not know that. This guy is smart. All right, Gail, third question. If I were a thermostat, bachelor number one, how high would you turn me up? Uh, that's another issue. I'd turn you all the way up. <laughs> I'd make you hot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> bachelor number two. Actually, I'd turn you down 10 degrees while you're sleeping and 10 degrees while you're working. You could save up to 20% in your fuel cost. All right, little lady, it's decision time. Who's it going to be? Who will be your energy star? Will it be bachelor number one or bachelor number two? I'm going to have to choose bachelor number two. Now, Dr. Professor Warnerhausen, because he knows how to keep me warm and save money. All right, well, let's meet the contestants. Bachelor number one, Long Hadley. <laughs> and here is your winner, Professor Warnerhausen. Congratulations, and as you are prized, you and your rating game chaperone get an all-expense trip to the Thetford Home Energy Expo! And make sure you check with all the home professionals there. They can keep you warm, they can save you money, and they can make you more comfortable! Yeah. Goodbye! Mwah.